one hundred thousand tons, leased the straw poll board project. China National United Equipment Group, Anyang Machinery Company Limited. China National United Equipment Group, Anyang Machinery Company Limited, subordinate to China National Building Materials Group, CNBM, is a central enterprise managed by the State on Asset Supervision and Administration Commission of the PRC, and has been the designated professional company manufacturing chemical pulping equipment since its establishment in 1968. The company has designed more than 10 pulping production lines in China and other countries, and established a quality reputation in the paper industry based on the product quality first and customer-centric philosophy over the past 46 years of engagement in chemical pulping. The main compositions of the 100,000-ton straw pulp production line are briefly described below. The 100,000-ton straw pulp production line is mainly composed of raw material stockyard, a pulping workshop, a washing workshop, a bleaching workshop, a paper-making workshop, an alkali recovery workshop, a water supply and drainage workshop, a sewage treatment workshop, etc. The general information and the technical scheme for reference of main contents of all the workshops are described as follows. A. Raw Material Stockyard The straw stockyard is used for storing straw raw materials, which are conveyed here and subjected to pre-treatment through spraying of antiseptics. Straw bales are stored by using dry stacking. The raw material stockyard has an area of about 666,000 square meters, with 760 to 800 stacks set up wherein each stack has the size of 20 by 10 by 10 meters and a storage capacity of 500 tons. With a storage capacity of 400,000 tons per year, the raw material stockyard can meet the factory needs of raw materials for one year. Straws taken from the raw material stockyard are firstly evenly cut into 2 to 3 meters millimeters long chopped straws. Percent of pass is bigger than 95% by a straw cutter at the stock preparation section and are then sent to the digestion section. B. Digestion Workshop According to the characteristics of straws, the soda process is adapted for pulping and is featured by soft pulp, strong water absorption, high opacity and lower intensity. Thus, it can be used for making cultural paper, tissue paper, etc. The horizontal tube continuous digestion method is adopted and is featured by high stream utilization rate, high quality and uniform pulp, good running performance and high pulp strength due to coat blow off. The coarse pulp yield is 38%, the use amount of alkali is 14% and the solid liquid ratio is 1 to 3. C. Washing Workshop The main purpose of washing paper pulp is to dissolve and separate some non-fibrous, soluble matters which are dissolved in the digestion liquor, adhere to the surface of fibers, and included among fibers in the digestion process from the fibers by using water and diluting water liquor, so as to obtain clean paper pulp and chemicals in the digestion waste liquor are recovered and black liquor is extracted. The countercurrent washing method of the vacuum pulp washer until is adopted for washing with a black liquor extraction rate of 90%. D. Bleaching Section DOEPD1 Elemental chlorine-free bleaching of the ECF bleaching process is used. The total available chlorine is 5%. The pole brightness is 82%. Hydrogen peroxide accounts for 0.3% and the magnesium sulfate accounts for 0.3%. E. Papermaking Workshop An air cushion drying pole board machine is used in the papermaking workshop and has the advantages of high drying efficiency, 
less consumption of steam compared to that of the drying cylinder, etc. The selected paper pulp flows through the head box and is dehydrated through the wire cloth part to form a wet web and then enters the drying part after being subjected to tertiary press and the pressing part. And a dried pulp board is cut into pulp board with a size of 800 by 600 millimeters, which enter the automatic parking line and are manufactured into finish the pulp bales by the packer and the baler and sent to the finish the product warehouse, wherein the main quantitative indicator is 800 grams per square meters and the water content is 15%. F. Alkali Recovery Workshop The main purpose of the Alkali Recovery Workshop is to send the black liquor extracted in pulping workshop to the Alkali Recovery Boiler to be combusted after being subjected to evaporation and concentration to recover part of heat energy while making organic matters in the black liquor to be converted into carbon dioxide and water. Steam generated from can be used for grid connected power, generation along with boiler steam, and the organic matters in the black liquor are converted into base to be reused as the digestion chemicals. According to the characteristics of straws, the annual amount of recovered alkali is 25,613 tons and the alkali recovery rate is 85%. The evaporation station has the evaporation capacity of 150 tons per hour and the total evaporation area of 17,500 square meters. Evaporation of diluted black liquor adopts countercurrent process and the thick black liquor subjected to I-effect production by beginning from V-effect and has about 45 to 50 percent of the content of solids is sent to the combustion section. The combustion section can process 520 tons of solids per day and adopts the steam parameters of 3.82 MPa and the medium pressure alkali recovery boiler with a temperature of 450 degrees so as to maximally utilize steam in the alkali recovery boiler to generate more electric power under the premises of economy and reasonableness, and removal of alkali dust in the flue gas of the alkali recovery boiler, and recovery of alkali are realized through the disk evaporator and electric precipitator. The air supply adopts the tertiary air supply system because the evaporated black liquor in the disk evaporator is concentrated to 50 to 55 percent after being directly heated and evaporated and then enters the boiler. The combustion requirements can be met if the temperature of the primary or second air heating is up to 170 to 180 degrees and the tertiary air supply adopts the inlet air at room temperature. Characteristics of the Cultisizing Section Firstly, the main component sodium carbonate in the combusted green liquor is maximally converted into sodium hydroxide. Secondly, white liquor with concentration and clarity meeting the digestion requirements is produced. And thirdly, the amount of alkali in white mud can be reduced to maximum. The loss of base is reduced. The clarity of white liquid reaches 50 ppm. The residual alkali in white mud is less than 1%. And meanwhile, the degree of dryness of the white mud after being washed is 65% above. Water supply and drainage. Water supply of 35,000 cubic meters per day. Sewage treatment. The indicators of sewage required to be treated are CODC R1000 to 1200 milligrams per liter. BOD 5300 to 500 mg per liter, SS 350 to 550 mg per liter, and a pH value of 5.7 to 6.7. The daily sewage treatment capacity is 25,000 cubic meters per day. The indicators of treated water are CODC R20 mg per liter, BOD 100 mg per liter. SS 50 mg per liter and a pH value of 6 to 7 and a power supply power. The cell provided power plant can supply 11,500 kilowatts power. 
and the electric power used for the project is 10,880 kilowatts. Egypt's straws are very rich and can be made into pulp boards after being subjected to chemical pulping, which then can be sold to papermaking factories. Both favorable economic benefits and social benefits can be achieved, wherein the economic benefits can be manifested in the creation of economic value, and social benefits can be manifested in increase of employment opportunities and environmental optimization instead of combustion of straws causing pollution to the environment. Thus, this project is worthy of investment. China National United Equipment Group Anyang Machinery Company Limited is willing to work with all partners together for a better future through a common development.